You're watching Biz Asia America. I'm Michelle McCorry at the NASDAQ market site. Changes in healthcare are known to move at a slower pace than many other industries due to major costs, the potential for lawsuits, of course, and plenty of politics mixed in. But one startup in San Francisco believes that the power of crowdsourcing has the potential to speed up the process of diagnosing mystery ailments. With more details on this, Mark New joins us live from Silicon Valley for the latest. Mark. Michelle, the startup CrowdMed is seeking to become the Wikipedia of medicine. It's turning to crowdsourcing to solve some very difficult medical questions that affect many lives. As we all know, whether they like it or not, doctors are having to get used to their patients, bringing in information from what's now referred to as Dr. Google. But this is different in that the idea is to give the doctor more targeted information that draws from numerous minds that are also on the case. Susanna Chung had constant cramping that was so painful she would even pass out. She saw three doctors who failed to figure out the cause. Finally, a friend referred her to the website CrowdBed, which recommended an ultrasound to check if she had endometriosis, a disorder where tissue that lines the uterus grows outside the uterus. It just felt good for me to get um, a second opinion from somebody who's never met me because they're not judging me like, oh, she's just, you know, having cramps. They were really caring and asked me to get that scan just to prove no once and for all what it is. The they Chung refers to are 50 medical detectives, many times doctors, med students, and even alternative medicine practitioners. They come together on the website CrowdBed to ask questions, research, share notes, and ultimately bet points on what they feel is the most likely diagnosis. Patients can offer cash rewards, and there's even a leaderboard showing which medical detectives have been the most accurate. And even though we typically think of game dynamics as something that's used on solving more trivial uh, issues, there's no reason we, we can't apply those same game mechanics to solving very tough, very serious real-world issues. So our site is certainly a serious place where our medical detectives realize that they're uh, providing uh, medical insights that could potentially help save a life. Uh, but at the same time, they're human beings, and all humans are motivated by the same things. Things like competition, reward, uh, learning. Heyman got the idea for CrowdMed after his own sister suffered from a serious illness and got the right diagnosis only after seeing two dozen doctors in a three-year period. Heyman used that case as a test for CrowdBed, and the patient, FXPOI, was diagnosed in several weeks. The average CrowdBed user has already been sick for six years, seen more than eight doctors, and incurred more than $50,000 in medical costs. They are tough to solve cases, yet founder Jared Haven says more than half of their patients say CrowdBed has brought them closer to a correct diagnosis than all of their doctors to date. Retired family medicine practitioner Greg Denari is one of CrowdMed's medical detectives. He understands how skeptical doctors can be when a patient hands them information from the internet, which is why he thinks CrowdBed's reports stand out. Basically, you're taking all that information that's out there and you're filtering it for the doctor before he even gets it. CrowdMed's different because it really is personalized. It's personalized to the patient. You know, they want the doctor to say, wow, this is really good, or look forward to getting the report, not that, oh, this is one more piece of internet, something the patient found. For Susanna Chang, a correct CrowdMed diagnosis meant getting the knowledge that her cramps would eventually disappear on their own. It was information that saved her time and money, but most of all, gave her peace of mind that she was going to be all right. And for disclosure, the patient we saw there, Susanna Chung, does work as an executive assistant at, for Coastal Ventures, one of the venture capital firms that has invested in CrowdBed. But Chung says that she didn't know that when she decided to give CrowdBed a try. In fact, CrowdBed recently got a $2.4 million seed round of funding that included investments from some of Silicon Valley's biggest VC firms like NEA and Andreessen Horowitz. And it's even received investment and support from actor Patrick Dempsey, who happens to be known as Dr. McDreamy on the popular TV medical drama Grey's Anatomy. Now, as I mentioned in the story, medical detectives play a huge role in making crowds either work in or study medicine, while 40% do not. Many of the non-medical people are actually patients who often provide just as good knowledge because they may be drawn to the cases that are similar to what they've already been through themselves. But whether you are a doctor or not, everyone on crowd, crowd med still needs to prove themselves worthy of giving advice, and that means earning the right to bet points on what they think is the right diagnosis. 
our system is performance-based rather than credential-based. So we don't vet our medical detectives based upon their formal credentials. However, we do provide uh, much more voice to those medical detectives who have proven over time to be very good. So when you first join the site, you're not given very much influence. Uh, you can't actually bet points yet. Uh, and even once you do earn the right to bet points by, by showing performance, uh, you can't bet a lot of points until you've proven to be adept at solving cases. But as you, uh, as you prove more performance over time, you gain more influence on the site, more status on the site, and your voice is essentially weighted much more heavily than those who have not yet proven themselves. Amon says the core technology that drives CrowdBed's betting system is a patented prediction market system, which is very much like betting on a virtual stock market. Michelle. Mark, it's fascinating. It's very much like an online uh, doctor house, if you will, going back to TV <laughs> reference. So, Mark, how much does it then cost to have your case submitted to CrowdMed? Well, users can actually submit their cases for free or offer a cash reward. To date, the highest cash reward has been $1,100 for a single case and the average cash reward $200. That money is split among the medical detectives, so it's really not a huge amount of money. However, cases where money is offered typically result in medical detectives signing up a lot quicker to take them on. Michelle. Absolutely the incentive there. Thank you so much. Very interesting. Mark, you live from Silicon Valley.